Great job, Brad! Thank you. Can you hear me? If I start to get a little boring, just throw something at me, just in case. Uh, I first want to start off by thanking Kathy Schaefer as well as Dave and Tammy Heine for this wonderful event and making this all possible today. Um, me and Mark have been uh, best friends really ever since high school. Um, we had the same group of friends, played the same sports. Um, we pretty much did everything together. Um, then we, we decided to go to the same university, Indiana University, um, both accounting majors. Um, we're both finishing up our finance MBAs right now. So we have really been inseparable over these past five, five years and then in college as well. We've even lived together for five years. That's kind of tough with living with Mark. <laughs> um, <laughs> we even had the same job out of high school. We both worked at the Parks and Rec, which leads me to how Mark and Sarah met, from my perspective at least. Um, we both, we both worked at the Parks and Rec, and uh, I thought to myself, you know, we walked in that first day, it was me and Mark, and we see around us, there's like nine other girls. And I was like, what are we getting ourselves into? Like, it's me and Mark and all these girls doing crafts. <laughs> We're getting paid to do crafts with kids all day long. And it, it was wonderful. <laughs> and then uh, apparently Mark had his eye on this girl named Sarah Schaefer, who I work directly with every day. And then as the weeks went on, one day Mark invited me to go to a movie with him and Sarah. <laughs> I honestly had no idea what was going on. I was oblivious. I didn't know Mark was going after this girl. And then after the movie, I was driving home and I was thinking, was I just the third wheel? <laughs> and apparently they had gone a few days before that. Mark's usually pretty coy about these things, so he didn't ask my permission to go after Sarah. Um, but then I started to think about Sarah. I work with her every day. And I had three main thoughts about Sarah. We would eat lunch every day together. And there's one thing she did really unusual. She ate her baby carrots like corn on the cob. <laughs> she ate around the outside first and saved the middle core for last. I still don't understand it. And as I was preparing for the speech, like, I, I tried to find some research online that like supported your idea. <laughs> I didn't find anything. <laughs> what I did find, though, is on Facebook, there's a group of 47 people out there that do the exact same thing as you. 47! <laughs> so, you are not alone. That's a good thing. <laughs> My second thought was, we usually had music playing in the, in the crowd sheds, and when her favorite song came on, she would yell at the top of her lungs, Everyone, stop what you're doing. <laughs> so, it, she wouldn't sing along though. She would like hum along and like nod her head. Like, she, she really wouldn't sing. My, my third thought was, she started to call me by a different name. She never called me Nate. She started to add a Y to my name. So I was always called Nady ever since the parts. And that's kind of gone on in college. It's, he, uh, she's called Ross Rossi and Zach Zacky, and sometimes I hear Marky. <laughs> so even with some of her quirks, I, I've grown to really like Sarah, and I always have fond memories of the park. And uh, e even in college, I really liked her around. I'm glad she was with Mark, but I should probably start making fun of Mark here a little bit. Uh, as I've been his roommate for five years, I think now is the time to pass the roommate torch. <laughs> On to Sarah. It's been a long time, five years. 
And to commemorate this new beginning of a new roommate, I've gathered a few items as a starter kit for the new roommate. <laughs> so hold on, let me let me get my items out here. Oh, he really has it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, what do they have first? First, Mark has never been one to be a cook. Um, I've actually never seen Mark boil water. <laughs> Disclaimer, I'm not saying I'm a good cook. No, I'm not saying that. But the first item is the snack staple of Mark Heine. And that is goldfish. <laughs> he always has at least one of these with him. I've, usually he has two. One in the kitchen, one in his bedroom. <laughs> I've seen him fall asleep like this <laughs> with goldfish. I would constantly open his door and he, he's just chowing away at goldfish. Um, but my second food item has also become a staple for Mark. I've actually been somewhat impressed with him because he's delved into seafood. Um, that is popcorn shrimp. <laughs> it has become a major staple over the past two years. Like, it's this and one other food that I'm about to bring up, and Mark knows what that is. <laughs> it is Jack's Pizza. <laughs> I have never seen our freezer without Jack's Pizza. It is unbelievable. I've seen him eat Jack's Pizza for a week straight. He loves that. So, to help with the, the transition,